Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Shadowrun walkthrough. Uh, Alright, so for this uh, video, I'm actually going to try to do a corporate run. I haven't, um, I haven't really touched on those uh, quite yet, so we're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> so one thing I will say uh, is useful to do is actually to get yourself uh, some corporate badges. Uh, I can't remember which which contact gets us those. Ah, oh, that's right. I think it's Max. So let's. Um, so basically, we've got. I think I've got all of the contacts now. So let's have a chat with Max. Uh, procure your services. <clears throat> um, I'll be honest. I think Max. The only. This is actually the only thing that he's good for. Uh, the rest of his uh, services are uh, over, super overpriced, and um, you can you can get them uh, in other ways. So he's got the HK227 for 1.5k. Um, I think is it? No, it's not Chillicut. It's uh, yeah, J Quentin James has one for. Uh, or he'll he'll basically sell you the same thing for only a thousand. Um. He's got an AK-97, which I don't use, I don't really like those. And then he's got a level 4 and level 5 uh, Maglock pack for Paskies uh, for 30k and 42k. Um, but there's another uh, contact that can get you the level 5 for only 20k, which I've actually already bought. And um, I think that that is um, something that you'll probably want for these corporate uh, runs as well. So there it is, that's the, the level 5 Pesky. Uh, Alright, anyways. We're gonna talk to Caleb. Caleb's got the best. Um, I mean, he's the top, top uh, Johnson in the game. And he's gonna have uh, the best uh, runs for us. This is a Matrix run. I'm not gonna bother with. Um, I think <laughs> most of my Matrix days are over. Kind of. Otherwise, if you're going to do a render crew run like this, you either want to grab this one and, and grab the take the patch of package run, or you need to do the escort mission. Um, I think, that, if I remember correctly, the escort missions are actually better because you get more uh, money for them. Because <laughs> so we're just beating up dudes. And, uh... Um, show me some ID. Alright, so that's that's where the corporate badges come in handy. Um, I think eventually your corporate badges will kind of like run out. No, it's more for egg than it's junk. Um, <clears throat> this, is pro this is probably one of those times where it's not a bad idea to just save outside. And then you can like run around and open up the, um, the, the treasure whatever box things on the first floor and if, if you don't get the item or if you, if you don't find the package in one of them uh, you can just restart your game or reload your reload your save save you some time that's generally the best way to do these corporate runs where you're looking for a package because yeah, otherwise I mean I don't know these these can get a little long um, so here's a this is a, a door that you need a Either a Magilock pass key, or you can um, just try to get your way through um, off of your uh, electronic stat. Um, I I don't know. I have a I have a 12 in my electronics, which you know it's, it takes a lot of grinding to get there. And um, I mean it is what it is. Um, oh yeah. So um, otherwise, you just use the Mag Magilock pass keys. Oh. Ugh. Ah, okay. Um, so apparently sometimes you can trigger... I didn't even remember that. Apparently you can trigger... Um, Jesus. Getting stopped constantly. 
uh, you can trigger little um, like lasers that'll set off alarms, and then when the alarms are going off, all the guards will want to uh, not be your friend, so they will attack you. Oh, yeah. All right, so apparently. This camera here. Um, so that's the other thing that you can do. You can go and um, <clears throat> find a, a computer terminal and, uh, and shut off the cameras. That's generally a good idea. And now I don't think I can use the elevators anymore when the alarms are going off. Um, we'll see here though. And uh, obviously, as you can hear it, there's a really al uh, annoying alarm going off. It's the worst. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I've got uh, pretty good gear now, too. And uh, that's you know, obviously something I would... God, Jesus. Not having any luck here. Uh, good gear is uh, kind of needed, obviously, to, to be taken on these corporate runs as well. Just because if you don't have the gear to take down these guards... Oh, you're not gonna have a good time. Uh, for some reason, I thought this was the elevator. That's not the case. You find nothing. Um, okay. <clears throat> I thought I could. I thought those were the computer terminals that we could use, but apparently not. Yeah, here the elevators are locked up once the, uh, the alarms are going off. Alright, I need to find a computer terminal. Like I said, I thought that, um, I thought that you could use these, uh, terminals in these rooms. No, I'm not, I'm not seeing another one. Okay. There's, yeah, there's some in this room. <clears throat> oh! I think I dropped something, but I can't pick it up. Um, yeah, I need to find one of my other characters. <laughs> my other characters are got yeah, uh, kind of lost. That's uh, kind of one lame thing about this game. I just uh, always surprises me how bad. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you can actually just kind of wait it out, too, if the alarms, or if you set off an alarm, um, you can just wait it out, and eventually the alarms will stop, but it takes a really long time. Seriously, where did my characters go? What are you doing? Wow, yeah, they really got stuck way back here. Holy crap. I can't believe I can't find a, a terminal, either. That's crazy. For some reason, I thought it was, you know, like one of these that you could use. Maybe that's not the case. <laughs> There's Josh. What are you doing back there, buddy? You're getting stuck. This is crazy, though. I'm, uh, I'm really surprised that I can't find a, a terminal anyway, or anywhere to, uh, And there they went. Okay. So the alarms have stopped. Oh, my god. Jeepers. Uh, what, are, what are all these things? Oh, they're grenades. Oh, yeah, man. Wow. Oh, a ton of grenades there. A couple predators, even? Man. Not bad, not bad. Um, oh, and here's another one. Inventory's full already. Because I've been looting dudes. Alright, so what I'm going to do here actually is um, go up to where the elevators are at. And uh, I'm just going to hang out. Hopefully I'll not, um, not set off the alarms again. Hello. 
Okay. That's yeah, probably the worst run ever. Um, this is kind of actually why I don't like doing the corporate runs. The, um, they take a lot of time. Um, it's nice if you like combat. I mean, I'll at least say that. And I'll be completely honest. I kind of do like these still better than uh, Matrix runs. Matrix runs are really time consuming as well. There's less of uh, uh, annoying stuff like this happening. Well, I shouldn't say that. If you run into a tar pit and get your attack program destroyed, that can be really annoying too. So. Oh, the alarm just went off. <laughs> We're just loaded with predators. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, we did it. All right. <clears throat> Floor two. Let's do it. find nothing. Of course. <laughs> um, the other good thing about, uh, you know, doing these corporate runs is obviously with uh, all of the stuff that I've already picked up, um, you'll do a, uh, you'll make a, make some money just, uh, you know, just plain selling stuff, which is nice. Flicks a toothpick at you, lobby. Ah, what? All right, dude. Whatever. I wonder if I'm not finding anything because my inventory is full too. Let's just discard this stuff. Oops. Uh, discard this. Discard this. those SMGs. Um, so I've got the HK two I've got the HK 227 and um, my SMG stat is actually a 13 because I used the the trick where you bring up your um, uh, you can bring your SMG stat or actually really any weapon stat up as long as you upgrade your firearm stat first. Oh, here's a Alright, so now I know where there's a terminal at least in case we need to shut off these alarms. Which is quite possible that we'll need to do that. God, what a stupid hallway. Like, wow, whoever designed this building was. was terrible. Like, no buildings are actually designed like this, guys. Come on. Oh! cameras. Uh, after I finish exploring this floor, that's what I'll do. Um, a lot of this stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, unfortunately, I don't know. I'll be, I'll be honest. I think that um, you know, corporate runs can be can be fun if you. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how fun they are. I'll be honest. Um, you can definitely do these better. Um, again, I would say save outside and, you know, check the first floor, and if you can't find your item on the first floor, I would just reload the game. It seems like a better way to do things, because this gets pretty annoying. I mean, unless you like doing this, then, then I'll, you know, by all means, definitely do that. murdering everybody um i mean the other thing so predators are only worth <laughs> what you sell those for actually i don't even know i don't, I don't know if you just sell them at half price or are you serious okay we're gonna do this probably need to do this anyway So the other problem with uh, actually doing this is um, now 
tell that the uh, yeah, this is really nice. um, now that the alarm is going off, it's actually just harder to break into the system too. So um, this actually isn't the best way to go. Really, a better way to to kind of go about it would be to um, let the uh, let the alarm kind of cancel and then and then do this. But we're gonna do it anyway. Because I also like to live dangerously. Okay, um, so we can't sleaze into this, so we'll probably just have to try. Alright, this is a full, by the way, this is a fully upgraded deck, and, um, we don't necessarily need to do that. Oh, how do I turn on cameras? Um, I don't actually remember how to do that. We're gonna crash this. System. I don't know if that. I don't know if that turns off the cameras or not. We're gonna find out. Otherwise, that was. Uh, I mean, not a total waste of time, but yeah, it did. Okay. All right. So go if you want to, or if you need to. Actually, I think it's a good idea, um, especially on these corporate runs, to just crash the system, and um, then the cameras will be turned off, so we'll have less annoying. Seriously. Hey, that's Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> a run as well. I mean, these guys obviously know we have more concussion grenades. <laughs> my, uh, my love of corporate guns is becoming <laughs> probably the worst one to pick though too, so real time. It looks like there's something on the ground here, but that must be another body. <laughs> you find nothing. Come on, ladies, let's go. Come with me, hobbits. Nothing. Oh, this floor looks like the other one. <gasps> Rip. Oh, there's a clip on the ground. Really? Can't be leaving those on the ground. Those are like 25 million. I mean, <laughs> ah, there it is. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so that's that's basically how a corporate run works. Come on, lady, let's go. What are you doing? Oh, no, I love the upholstery in here. Oh, okay. What is going on with that? That's clearly something on the ground. done with you. Maybe that's a clip too, and that's why I can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. The alarm just went off. Thank God. Let's get out of here. One. <clears throat> well, this elevator screen is amazing. Um, why are... That's really weird that it now looks like the first floor is unexplored again. Okay, let's hope that this guy doesn't... Oh, thank God. It would have been terrible if he would have ratted us out. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so that was it. That was our corporate run, which was less fun than I remembered. All right, so let's head back. Um, I guess the good thing about this one is it's all on foot. We didn't even need to take a taxi, which I guess I don't know how much of a benefit that really is. We get in or we get taxi rides for free these days. Alright, so let's have a chat. Let's just check what's our. Alright, my karma's at 20 right now, so let's turn this in. Oh, what the heck happened? Oh, that's right, I forgot to hire my, my runners full time. Alright, so let's take a look here. Yeah, so that was 6 karma, Um, so not bad. Let's go back and. Oh, yeah, so, um, I actually started a new game, God, I forgot to mention that, which is why this probably looks a little bit goofy, um, I actually remade it, I made a Decker instead, I just, 
I didn't like having two magic users in the same party, and uh, yeah, so that's why I did that. <clears throat> so let's grab Freya again. I'd like to go. So, um, all right, let's take a look here. My Okay, so my charisma is six, so I'm completely maxed out, and my negotiation is twelve. So let's just see what. Uh, yeah, so um, obviously I haven't completed a whole lot of runs with her, which is why she doesn't um, uh, have that extra dialogue. I'm gonna do this again for short term. I'm gonna go do some. I wanna keep kind of seeing what. Uh, how much I can reduce their run cost by. Um, so we need to go back to Matchbox now to grab Rihanna. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna try one more corporate run. I'm, maybe I'll go somewhere else. And uh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a uh, escort run. Extremely expensive. I think she actually is the most expensive runner in the game to hire, which is surprising. I always thought that it was, uh, I thought Frail was the most expensive, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, whoops! My dad went too far. Fridge too far. Alright, so let's chat with Kayla. Whoops. Crap. Wrong. Let's go in. I don't want to just talk to the doorman. Alright, for some more. Oh, here we go. A red or two again. Um, um, let's try this one. All these, all these red or two employees want. And they're done that. Not interested, buddy. I thought that, um, I thought that we could use some of these, uh, corporate runs to make more money out of the Yeah, these are, they're only like 4,000. Um, maybe it's the, oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's right. Okay. So, um, actually, it, it looks like, uh, Looks like that's going to be our uh, high point as far as uh, runs. Or I'm trying to look up the different um, runs and how much we can, you know, expect from each one. Although I think I think that's it. I think. Um, Expert extraction. Yeah, okay, so those expert matrix runs are the most expensive runs now in the game. Um, the extraction runs. And then expert acquisition. Um, acquisition must be the package runs. Yeah, okay, that's kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, that looks like. Man, that's kind of crazy. I'll be honest, I think that these. Um, Oh yeah, okay, I want to do this one just to show you guys, this one's super cheap. Um, but yeah, it looks like the those expert matrix runs are the, the way to go. Uh, unfortunately, the thing with the expert matrix runs is obviously it does take quite a bit of um, kind of cash to get started, I guess I'd say. Um, I mean, you don't need the highest level deck in the game, but you, know, you either need a mid-level or a kind of like the second best deck to get those done. So, again, unfortunately, it takes a bit of time to, to kind of I mean, make those, uh, I guess, I don't know, not as time-consuming. Um, but 
I don't know, I'll be honest, I think that beats those car corporate runs. Those corporate runs are just, I don't know, they're not fun. Um, but anyways, alright, so here's Lone Star. Uh, if you notice, though, unfortunately, this, this run was, just didn't offer us much money at all. Um, but the reason why this one is so good is, look at this, this is the front door. And you've got the, <laughs> wow, how lucky was that? Um, so that's why the Lone Star run is kind of insane. Um, we didn't have to do anything. I mean, the, the package was literally there sitting at the front door. So, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to check out how much, uh, how much cash I get for this one. Um, I don't know if we'll even be able to cover the cost. Well, yeah, we will cover the cost of hiring the two ladies, but, um. I think it's like five runs, and then they recognize, or their their dialogue changes after five successful runs. I'm sure this is for everybody, but, um, Alright, so, um, let's take a look at our karma. Um, so that was only four karma, but, I mean... That was done in a fraction of the time of that previous run. So, I don't know. I mean, obviously, we only got, what was it, 1,600 or something like that for that run, though, as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That actually could be a really good way of farming karma as well. Although, I, don't know. I mean, I'm, yeah, that, that one was probably faster than, you know, four Redmond Barons runs, to be honest, um, but that also went, I mean, that was as lucky as I could possibly get, I mean, it's not every day that you're going to be able to, oh, here we go, so her, her, uh, fees have just gone down, so she's down to 330 per single run, uh, again, though, now my negotiation score is really good, charisma is as high as I can get it. Actually, both of those are as high as I can get them, so. Um, and then again, you know, uh, oops, let's talk to these guys. All right. That's good. That's uh, another benefit of having uh, six karma. Talking your way out of uh, Lone Star Stops. All right, so let's hire Rihanna again. Shut and lock. Her, her should go down. Yeah, 385 now. Yeah, these, uh, Shut and um, these are really getting cheaper to hire these runners. I kind of wish I would have um, uh, checked, you know, how much uh, the hiring price was uh, originally. So that's an extraction of the uh, room size, it's not worth the time. Matrix runs. Boo. Boo earns. Or matrix run. No thanks. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll be honest. I think that um, if I was going to choose between the two, I'm going to do this and I'm going to try that. I'm going to try the first floor trick. See if I can um, see if I can get that package on the first floor. And if I don't, I'm just gonna reload my game. I know it's a little cheap, but um, I don't know. It gets a little annoying, you know, having to wait around for the elevator if an alarm is going off. And that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, say, we'll just see how how many times this takes to. <laughs> To complete if I do it like this. Man, and these guys are checking me immediately. Look at this. Quit harassing me. I'm clearly supposed to be here. 200 million. Impressive. Making the big bucks now, boy. Um, I think we're going to reload because this is... Yeah. Okay, so there's two... Two chests there. Um, nothing in this room. That's a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end too. Um, let's just check. I'm gonna scope this first floor. See how many chests there are. I think there's one back here. Yeah. Just in veggies. 
Those are actually worth. I don't know. Yeah, like commenting on how uh, you know Steam patches are worth so much money. They're they're really not, uh, especially at this point in the game. Um, I mean, when you can start farming like the mid-level Matrix runs, um, you know, a couple of stim patches kind of is jump tr change, frankly. I mean, some of those files are worth, you know, a couple thousand. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna just, yeah, okay. Gonna just go ahead and reload our game here. Wow, that's good. These guys look like, uh, ah, what? Alright, I'm gonna reset. Um, which is what I should have done. I should have... Basically, what I should have done is gone in and checked probably the first chest and then walked back outside and reloaded my game. It's really annoying that you can't, um... You can't just, uh, inside there, but I guess whatever. We're doing things uh, super cheap anyway, so... Let's try this again. Uh, again, keep in mind that um, your package is randomly generated as you enter. And so if you reload your game, you know, the package will have moved to concussion grenades. Yeah, because that was 200, what was that, 200 million the last time? And, and okay, so let's go back outside. Yeah, like this is, this is probably going to be the way to handle this. Time consuming. So, I mean, the other thing is at a certain point, like, yeah, this is a little cheap, but I mean, at the end of the day, how many of these, you know, Renriku runs do you really want to do? And I mean, I don't know, again, I just, I, I gotta say that these corporate runs really don't seem like they're worth it to me. I think, um, again, unfortunately, the best way to, uh, to for, uh, farm, you know, is to, oh, Jesus. Um, the other thing, the other thing with this, and I don't know if that's what's setting up, so I actually have silenced SMGs, but, um, it might not be a bad idea to just, uh, use, uh, or set my other two characters on to, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll set my other two characters on cold defense and just control Freya, and then, um, if I get into fights, I'll just nuke them down, and hopefully that'll make sure that the alarms don't go off, but, um... All right. Oh, where's Fred? No, way down here. Okay. All right. Let's save our game one more time. And oops. let's try to get rid of some stuff here too. This kind of this. This kind of this. Yes. Um. You know, if I was smarter, I would have sold off all my stuff too before doing this run again. But uh, I didn't. So it is what it is. this theory. Oh. Ah. Set off the alarm. So, <laughs> and we're gonna be stuck in here anyway. Alright, I'm gonna try uh, one last <laughs> one last chest here. Fifty million! Oh my gosh, so impressive. Uh, um, so maybe again, this should be pretty obvious that this is not the greatest way to to make karma or money. But you know, whatever. We're going through it. These are these are your options. Whether or not they're good or not is uh, you know up to you. Uh, again, that, that Lone Star run, I don't know, probably was the best way to go. I mean, 
the fact that, uh, I mean, I, you don't even, you, you won't get stopped immediately like I am getting stopped here. Um, again, the cash is not good, but I mean, honestly, I don't think this is worth it. Like, even, what is it, 4,000 uh, million for one of these successful runs? It's just not crap. Let's see here. I want to see if... I don't know if this actually resets or if you have to reload your game or not. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Oh my god, I might have worn out too. It's got to be so yeah, let's, let's not. Um, I'm actually going to check my inventory too. I think I think the corporate badges stay in your inventory with group items. Um, and they're they're good for a while. Uh, eventually, though, those corporate badges will, I don't know, be used up, essentially. <laughs> I think that's how that works anyway. But yeah, I think normally you can get a couple of runs out of them before they, you know, it's probably something. And I, I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, security pass. Yeah, I think that's the item. The security pass. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I think it makes a little bit of sense at least where, you know, they, they probably finally catch on that, the that you know, your security pass is not a real person or however that would work. Ugh. I mean, just imagine how many files I could have snagged out of the uh, the matrix by now. Yeah, look, at this is terrible. I'm not doing good at all. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check here if our security badges are still in the inventory. Or not. So it still says they're there. Right, let's go in here. Do -do 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 -do. Waved me by. All right, so it worked that time. I must have just got unlucky. Uh, Two hundred. Jesus, quit harassing me, man. Get off my back. You find nothing. Um. So the other thing I I don't a hundred percent know though is if you walk into Renriku. Um. If, like, every time you walk through the door, that's when the package is randomized. I'm not 100% sure on that, you know, or if I'm just kind of wasting my time by not actually reloading my game. Um, that's kind of actually what I wanted to try to find out here, but... Um, anyways... Oh, here we go. Okay, so that just answered our question. Uh, you don't need to keep reloading your game if, uh, if you don't find the package, but... Um, so yeah, I don't know, that was pretty, uh, it seems to me that was pretty time consuming. Um, I will end up getting, uh, what was it, was it 4 Karma or was it 6? I think it was 4. We'll see here. I'm pretty sure it was 4 though. Uh, walk away. Just walk away. All right, so we're at 30 karma right now. I need to sell this stuff to out of my inventory. I'd like to go in, but... Oh, there's a Lone Star back in All right, we'll take that run again. Just because it's so fast and I'm trying to uh, knock down the prices of my uh, allies here. So that was, that was six. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, long story short here, the, that matrix run, um, uh, I'll be honest. I think that that's the best way to do it is to, you know, enter. And if it's not on the first floor and the first couple of, um, uh, chests that you check or what up wall safes, I guess is, I've been calling them chests this whole time. And they're, they're more like wall safes or yeah, that's what they seem to be to me. Um, but anyways, if you, if you, uh, you know, go in and it's not in the first two that you check like that in Renroku specifically, um, I would say, um, oh, so, so here she's still at 330, so her price hasn't changed from the last run, so we're going to, um, we're 
gonna try one more run. Actually, with with I think this this might be the fifth run. Hopefully, hopefully it is anyway. Um, which would which will will mean that uh, her prices will be reduced as far as they can go. Oh, we got gang got violence. Um, I'd like to go in. I need to sell my stuff too. Shut him out. I should absolutely do right now. Um, put her under 385. Yeah, she's still got the same hiring price as well. Shut him out. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's go to Redmond really quick. Concussion, man. 110. Wow, those are really garbage. Um, 295 for these predators. Oh, what was this? What the heck was this thing? The Warhawk. Huh, okay. I didn't know that the Warhawk was worth more. That's kind of funny because that's a really garbage gun. Um, do, do, do. Oh, she didn't have anything. Selling prices so much lower. Oh, negotiations. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, buying and selling, duh. Oh, her, her negotiation skill is literally zero, so it's literally as uh, uh, as low as you can go. Oh, that's funny. All right. Um, uh, where do we need to go here? We need to go back to. I think, I think it's Penumbra. I think that's where. Lone Star is at, so let's do that. Yes. Um, do, do, do. Ah. I mean, because why not? Let's just murk some innocent guy just minding his own business. Okay, here's Lone Star. Let's go find a package, shall we? out, go back in, I forgot, um, yeah, four frag grenades, okay, I mean, this, man, this might be the way to go, I'll be completely honest here, just because this is so easy, um, no risk of, there, yeah, that's it, okay, so that was, what, three times, um, and again, uh, the, the, not having to reload your game is, Nuts. I mean, real talk. That's that's probably the way to go. So we'll probably get. I mean, yeah, that's even better than that Renriku run by far. I mean, just the fact that you never get stopped by um, the you know security. Um, it'll be two karma less, but I think it's completely worth it. The walk is about the same distance. Let's just check. So we're at 37 karma. Must have got a karma from Parkinson. No, we're done. We've just talked about this, buddy. We're done with running through runs. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 41 karma. So that was only four karma. So four, so four karma versus six. Um, about half of the. Uh, about half of the actual pay. But um, as far as um, karma goes, that might be the way to, to go. So we're done with it, buddy. We've been there, we've done that. Caleb has a lot of different runs. Probably should have taken that run. I need to get into the that uh, that system eventually. Um, so 
that's a Lone Star run, but it's, a, it's an extraction. And we don't want to do that. So yeah, this is where the, <clears throat> the most time can be spent. Yeah, the most time is going to be spent is just trying to get that Lone Star run again. Not interested, Caleb. He's just not getting material. There's the Lone Star back in here. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, that's. I mean, that will probably be uh, more time-consuming than it would have actually. Um, or the, the amount of time it'll actually take us to uh, complete that run. Oh, and I have to. So because I am super OCD, I have to always get Freya in my second spot. So actually, I'm. Once I hire her full time, which hopefully I can do that now, I just, you know, I wanted to make sure that I got that. I wanted to see that dialogue where she calls us the golden boy. Ah, there it is. Yeah, golden boy. What's the haps? I don't know what that means. Um, so 315 for a single run. We're going to do lifelong, obviously. That was a slight reduction. That was, I mean, that was almost, I thought she was at 3.30 before, so, you know, again, uh, the completing whatever, if it's, I think it's five successful runs with any runner, you know, really reduces the prices, but I mean, I don't know, that wasn't, that wasn't reduced by much more than what it was reduced by before, so. Um, I don't know, and again, I don't know how that breaks down. Like, if it takes one run to significantly reduce their prices, uh, tosses her hair from her eyes and gives a wink. Hey, handsome, how are tricks? Um, I'm not a whore. I don't turn tricks, lady. Um, but we're looking for a runner, even though you're a potty mouth and you think that you're some sort of hooker. Uh, I could use a lifelong pal. Let's do that. Okay. So, um, that's that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that maybe, maybe it's something like you get a substantial <clears throat> reduction in hiring price, uh, when you complete a single run and then obviously it was, it was reduced again for the fifth, you know, successful run, but I mean, by almost nothing. So, I don't know. Nothing, and my inventory is probably full now. Nope, it's not. Okay. Um, so that's the other thing. You know, you'll grab some stuff out of these chests, which is always nice. Forced in patches. Those are worth a decent amount. Again, I don't, I don't know why I'm even commenting on you know how much I'm getting fr from these. Um, wall safes because let's be honest this is nothing in comparison to you know robbing like a single data file off of the matrix somewhere but you know whatever two concussion grenades I guess it's kind of one of those deals like if we're here and we're gonna do this we might as well talk about how we're you know making small cash petty cash um, let's just trade this stuff over, I guess. Um, but yeah, once your uh, once your inventory gets filled up, then you'll keep finding nothing in the saves too. So keep that in mind. So, um, I don't know, up to you on whether or not you think that this is worth the time or the way that you want to do it. Yeah, it's a little boring and lame, but, um, I think, you know, for, if you want to just farm karma quickly, this is probably the best way to do it. <laughs> I mean, we're getting a little bit of cash as well. Um, I think the karma gain is the real reason, though, to do this to be completely honest. Um, the other thing is, if I could find a better place to sell, which I don't, I don't know that there is one. 
Maybe if there was like a closer place to sell so that we didn't have to go all the way back to Redmond Barrens uh, to get rid of our stuff, that'd be nice. Otherwise, um, you know, it'd be nice also to have just more space in our inventory. Um, I've got a lot of really high-end items, though, unfortunately, now that I can't really get rid of. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with the main character here. I've got, you know, the gun, the armor, and then a Magilock passkey, so... Um, you know, had I been here earlier on in the game, which, you know, this could have been something I could have done. Um, jeez, yeah, everybody's almost full already. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. But, um, but anyways, yeah, so if, if I was here earlier on in the game where I didn't, you know, just ha have all kinds of crap in my inventory, this kind of would have worked out a little bit better too. Um, <clears throat> just because I wouldn't um, now, you know, because obviously at this point now I'll just not ever find anything in these uh, saves. Yeah, nothing. Super. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I don't really feel like going in my inventory and um, throwing out all the stuff that's, you know, not worth as much. Ugh, yeah, this is getting... Getting a bit old, buddy. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. This is the way to do it, I think, and in my opinion, to farm karma. Um, otherwise, stay in the Redmond Barrens. I don't know. I'm, I'm such a fan of that uh, that area. I mean, I just... It's crazy how fast you can farm up karma there. It, it, again, though, you know, unfortunately, like anything else in this game, it gets incredibly uh, repetitive, but... Um, for, for, like, probably sheer speed, I would argue that that's probably the best place to do it. Um, hopefully here. Now, I guess we're going to test one last... One last theory is that I want to know if... If our inventory is completely full, will we be able to find the package or not? I guess that's the... <laughs> what are you doing right outside our office? Oh, you know, just hanging out. You. Um, so yeah, so the last thing uh, will be here, whether or not if you've got a full inventory, you'll f be able to find a package or not, so that'll be answered here hopefully pretty soon. <laughs> 50 million. Woo, doggy. So much cash. We'll be able to buy two whole clips with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I don't know. Final thoughts here um, before we get back to the main story. What I'll probably actually do here is uh, the next couple videos. Maybe I'll just do the... Um, uh, we'll be able to go get the other two samurai um, because I still haven't done uh, that yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe we can't find it if our inventory is full. Which would be a little annoying. Um, but yeah, so we've got the two final, the human samurai that we're actually not able to get at the beginning of the game because they have long-ish quests, um, you know, before you can get them. Okay, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm almost prepared now to say that we're not going to be able to find that package if our inventory is full. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty close here. Let's give this, I don't know, we'll give it like five more times. I don't know, I mean, unfortunately, um, you know, I don't know, my sample, oh, and there it is, okay. Well, so I'm glad I did that. Okay, so there you have it. Now, we've got all kinds of answers. Number one, you don't have to reset your game in order to find the package. It's just randomly generated literally every time you walk to the front door of the place. Uh, the other thing is, if your inventory is completely full, uh, you will still be able to obtain the package. Um, I guess that's that's it. And Lone Star just talking my way out of these Lone Star stops constantly. I guess the other thing is, I do have a weapons permit, so I don't know if that's helping or not. Uh, let's go in. Let's talk to Caleb for possibly the last time. Alright, I'm gonna go sell all my stuff. Please. Uh, Oof. 
factor. Oh, here. Oh, I can go right over here. Yeah, there we go. So we definitely don't have to go all the way back to uh, Redmond. I forgot about um, just ducking into uh, Merlin's lore here. All the patches are working. Oh, no. Uh, these guys don't have um, negotiation skill either, so yeah, that's why these are not going to be worth as much. That's okay. All right, so yeah, I don't know. All right, so I, I think I'm going to officially say it. So you're, as far as making money, that Lone Star Run is not going to be worthwhile. Um, <clears throat> uh, I shouldn't, man, I shouldn't even say that. Maybe at the, so, so I will say this at the very beginning of the game that probably actually is worth it so you could actually jump right from um uh, what well, you'd have to do okay so if you go to the tarlsara city in after getting michael's stuff so that basically that's what you have to do you have to get michael's stuff first then you have to go to puyallup barons and speak with tabitha then you have to go back to uh Arasco and speak with him and then you can finally go in and talk to caleb so then once you're able to talk to Caleb, you can actually farm your <clears throat> your karma that way if you want to. Um, I'd say that it's probably not a bad idea. Um, yeah, I, that might be the best way to go about it. And uh, it'll get you, obviously you'll get a lot more money as well that way. Um, yeah, man. So maybe I'll just do a real quick video on kind of the best way to go about the, the first portion of the game probably makes more sense but um all right that's that's pretty much all i want to talk about for this video um as always hope the guide was helpful though and i uh, hope you join me for more videos thanks for watching